Well, I was all stocked up, and I had my brother Bill as crew for the first leg of the Great Lakes journey, and I was reasonably confident that I could rendezvous with my brother-in-law, Al, near Buffalo to transit the Welland Canal to Lake Erie. We knew we would have some upwind sailing the first day out, but at 15 knots, it wasn't anything too challenging. Besides, by evening, the wind would shift to the north-northwest, and we'd have a nice beam reach through the night to our destination on the Niagara River. So we tossed off the lines and headed out the Genesee River toward Lake Ontario. The first obstacle we encountered was that the wind quickly clocked up to 20 knots with gusts of 25. No worries, I thought. We can still make some upwind progress while we patiently wait for the wind shift. The wind did, however, kick up some pretty good-sized seas, and my brother soon donated his breakfast to the lake. The waves also slowed us down, and we could only keep about three knots of boat speed, which meant that we were slipping to leeward more than normal. Shortly thereafter, the autopilot gave me a rudder reference error and quit working. Again, no worries, I'm doing fine. I'm well rested, and I can hand steer for the next 16 or 18 hours if I need to. But as the day gave way to night, we were making very slow progress and still waiting for that wind shift. Bill Power threw his nausea to help me when we needed to tack, but I was also starting to feel queasy, and the idea that we would arrive at the mouth of the Niagara River on Tuesday started to fade, let alone the planned Tuesday morning arrival predicted. Our Wednesday morning appointment to transit the Welland Canal was in jeopardy, and I would lose my third crew member to other commitments. The Canal Authority requires three crew, including the skipper, to ensure that you have enough line handlers. Then, at 3 a.m., and believe me, nothing good happens at 3 a.m., our steering was suddenly unresponsive. The Vectron line that I had installed last year had showed no signs of stretching up to this point, but still became loose enough to fall off the quadrant. As we bounced around in the choppy seas, I stuck my head through the hatch in the cockpit floor to assess the situation. It was clear that I didn't have enough adjustment to get the line tight again, and we'd have to resort to the emergency tiller. So at this point, my crew was sick and mostly out of commission. We almost certainly would be late for the rendezvous with our third crew and our canal reservation, and I would need to steer with the awkward emergency tiller for maybe another 24 hours. Oh, did I mention that the wind shift never showed and it would most likely be an upwind slog the whole way? Anyway, it was fourth and long, so I decided to punt. We pointed downwind and made a straight shot back to Rochester in about six hours. Bill has vowed never to sail with me again, and honestly, I don't blame him. I got some much-needed rest and have already started fixing the steering issues. One problem was that the tiller arm that the autopilot connects to slid down the shaft and caused the lever arm between the tiller arm and the rudder reference indicator to pop off. That was an easy fix, and I also took the opportunity to replace the rudder limit lines, which I wasn't really happy with before. As far as the steering cable, I thought I had purchased 100% Vectron line last year, but I realized that it was a blend with relatively little Vectron in it. I've ordered the real deal this time, and I'm waiting for it to arrive. I'm also ordering new chain for the steering system. I don't want to get the line right, only to have the old chain snap on me. Finally, I'm getting new sail packs in about two weeks, something that I figured that I'd just do without during my Great Lakes trip. But now I can just sit tight and get the sail packs installed, which will make deploying and stowing the sails a whole lot easier. After that, I'll do some shorter trips during the rest of the season to test everything out the best that I can. So look for some sailing videos in the near future. Thanks for watching, and bye for now.